this video I'm going to show my Viking helmet that I'm uh, making for Unreal Tournament uh, as a hat add-on and I'm just going to show the blueprint um, for getting team colors and stuff like that to work um, I couldn't find any actual information about it and it took me a while to figure out exactly how to set it up so everything works properly and so I'll also say that it's pretty much based on what I uh, could figure out. It's not based on uh, any information, uh, uh, you know, from Epic side or anything like that. So it's kind of my own uh, setup for it. Um, so okay. So first of all, um, so this is uh, the helmet, and the first thing is in the construction script. Um, I create a dynamic material for it and the reason for that is actually just because I have some effects that I do on the when you do a taunt um, there's some uh, material effects happening and I set it uh, create a dynamic material and I apply it to uh, two channels because I actually have a I actually have an LOD set up so there's the two uh, materials that actually take up two channels so I've got the LOD happening there so that's why this uh, for every material switch I do I actually do it on uh, both channels um, so that you see the two uh, material channels so in the construction script uh, apply to channel 0 and 1 uh, so that's the base material and that looks like that um, and then I have my CTF materials, uh, red, blue, green and yellow um, and so the, you can actually see the LOD right. <laughs> um, so so I actually, so you can see just based on the LOD I actually uh, don't just make the red piece red I also change the material on this uh, golden piece here make it a bit more of a bronze color um, and on the blue I actually uh, make it silver so uh, so I don't just apply colors I actually swap out materials um, okay so on the blueprint in the event um, uh, first thing I do is on begin play uh, get the uh, cosmetic wearer. So the way you get that is you just get, um, you just right click and then get cosmetic wearer. This is the part that that got me in the beginning that I couldn't figure out. Like, uh, keep trying to get player or player controller or something like that. Try and find the team through that. But uh, you can just get this, and then you can get the team number, and then. Um, set it and it gets it as a byte like just as a number and then you can set it to an to a to the actual um team deco type whatever um so you can actually switch it based on the on that type and the switch is just just right click uh actually let me just type team and there you go so switch on team deco so uh, that's already there as well and I set that variable so I can just use it in some different places uh, if if I need to and uh, yeah so um, so that's where the actual uh, uh, color gets uh, I you know that's where you actually get the color from um, and then this is just a custom event that I created so I just create a custom event and then just so I can keep my wires and things clean and then I set so I get the team color and then I run this custom event which where I set the team color and that will only set it if it actually uh, if if any one of these things are true uh, otherwise it won't do anything um, so by default you'll have your um, in the construction script I have my default material uh, if a team isn't 
yeah, if you're not doing a team uh, game type, then it will just use the default material. Uh, so when it when the team gets set to red, uh, it runs in, and I create another dynamic material for the red um, material, and then set it again to both channels. Uh, and the reason I do the dynamic material again is because I'm doing a just a material blending effect uh, for when you're doing a taunt. So on a cosmetic, where it's a taunting, it'll do an effect, and it, and I have to base it on each material. So um, whenever I swap out materials, I also create a dynamic material for that. Um, so that that all works fine, and I'm actually going to just disconnect this, and I'm going to show. Um, so when I play, uh, just. Set the helmet and go behind view, and you can see it's red. And so when I switch, um, when I change team, the helmet stays red. And you can also see it's actually just floating in the air; it's not falling down to the ground. Um, so the reason why it stays red is because there's no event that actually tells it. Let me actually just uh, do this again, change team. Okay, so it stays red, so now when I spawn, now it will actually be correct. Oops, wrong one. Behind view, so you can see it is red now and my uh, team is red, so that's correct. But um, as you change, it stays red instead of changing over to blue. The reason for that is there's no event to tell it. Uh, it only changes color on begin play, and when that happens, when the helmet gets created, when you spawn in. Um, so that's what this part is all about, and this looks kind of complicated, but it's not that complicated. And this is the part that I'm kind of doing it my own way. Whether there's a, a specific way that Epic intends this to be done, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't been able to find any information about this stuff, so I'm just kind of doing um, what I can to make it work. And uh, so you also saw the helmet floating in the air when you die. That happens as soon as you add this node, uh, event on cosmetic wearer death. As soon as you add this node, um, then that will happen. The physics doesn't actually work anymore on the on the helmet. So. Um, so that's why I do this. The very first thing I do, and that's just a collapsed uh, node system. So the very first thing I do is um, I set the collision to be enabled, and then I set to simulate physics. And then what I also do is I throw it up into the air a little bit, just so it's uh, so it doesn't drop down. So so like you know, it's, <laughs> it's a little bit more interesting. Um, And so uh, the rest of it. Um, so then I also check the damage type, um, and I found that I mean I went through different different things here to find exactly what I can use uh, to make this work. But um, so because I'm switching the material based on death, because as soon as you switch over, you actually die. You switch teams, you actually die. You see the guy fall down, that means you're dead. Um, so that was the event, that's the event that I'm using. There isn't a special event that gets called when you switch teams that I could find. Uh, so I'd call it on the death event. Um, but now I need to separate out the fact that nobody killed you or you didn't kill yourself or anything like that. So you don't want the color to switch every time uh, that you die, only when you switch teams. Uh, so. I so I found that you can check against a valid uh, uh, a damage type class. So each each time, if you get shot, or if you with a specific weapon, or if you kill yourself, or something like that, it's actually based on a specific uh, damage class. Um, so if none of that is valid, then uh, do the material swap. So. 
um, I do it in kind of a brute force way because uh, again you know I'm, uh, I don't know if there's like you know a specific official way to actually do this um, but so this is the way I found how to make it work uh, so all I do is I check the team uh, this variable and I and that actually comes through uh, as a as a number and so I can just check against that number and I can say is this value zero if yes it means actually the skin is red so I change it to blue um, if it's not then check again and see is it one yes then it means it's blue which means change it to red and if none of those are true then go through and see is it two which means it's green um, so change it to yellow and if it's n n not uh, any one of these three then it must be yellow so change it to green uh, and that's pretty much how I got that to work so uh, with that hooked up uh, if I play again and I change uh, team to nice up have to add a <laughs> add the helmet first so now I've added the helmet and now if I change team you can see now it's already blue as I change team and I'll just switch on behind view so you can see it's blue and uh, when I change team boom it's red and you can see it pops into the air a little bit and it's a little bit more dynamic so it throws it up into the air so um, and then I'll just also show really quickly switch on behind view uh, if you kill yourself it stays the correct color so it stays red there and it will still be red um, behind view now if I change team it goes blue so cool so that's that's how that works